Alright, so here's my SEMA X8C transmitter, modified with a 5 decibel antenna to extend the range. Uh, continue watching the video and you'll see how I've done it. Um, right, so I'm going to be modifying my SEMA X8C transmitter. Uh, I'm going to be installing this 5 decibel antenna. The uh, reason why is because I'm using it, the um, SEMA X8C for um, FPV and I want to try to get as much range as possible uh, with this transmitter. So that's the reason why I'm installing it. Um, at the moment I'm getting between um, probably 200 to 250 metres but I just want to try to you know, extend that range as far as possible so there's no chance of uh, losing it. Uh, so the things you'll need is a uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, 5 decibel antenna and it's got an RP SMA connector on there. I've also brought this um, RP SMA uh, pigtail connector which uh, the antenna will connect to. Now I'll put links in the description to where I uh, got the parts from just in case you're interested in trying it yourself. So, yep, let's get on with it. Uh, things you'll need is just basically wire cutters, wire strippers, uh, some solder, and a soldering iron, and some drill bits. Uh, you may or may not need the drill bits. Uh, the way I'm going to do mine is, is I'm going to actually mount mine on the back here. There's uh, plenty of space inside the transmitter. So, I'm actually going to mount it so it comes out like this, reason being I'm going to uh, put a FPV monitor on the front here, I've got a um, holder coming for it to hold the um, monitor up here and I, it will be a bit further away from the monitor then just in case there's any um, interference between them. So yeah, I've already undone my screws, uh, make sure you take your batteries out uh, before you do anything inside, because if not, you might short something out inside. That's why I've taken one battery out. Also, another warning uh, if you take your antenna off and then you power the transmitter up, you'll blow the transmitter. You will. And same being if once you've um, done this modification, uh, never power your transmitter up without having the antenna connected because if not you'll fry the transmitter okay so hopefully you can see that yep here is the antenna this black piece here this piece here this is part of the antenna as well that's the um, ground plane and that's why this transmitter has got uh, quite a bit of distance just because of that little bit of added wire there that ground plane so don't touch this piece here, there's no need to touch that. The actual antenna is on the top here and it's just a matter of unsoldering this first. As you can see you've got the, an the antenna point there which is the uh, centre core and then you've got the uh, where you solder the um, ground on here which is the um, shield, the outer core of the um, wire. <coughs> I'm just going to unsolder the battery connections on here just to make it a bit easier. What I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to drill a hole straight in the back there. And I'm just going to go through with a uh, 5mm drill bit first and just uh, see if it will, will fit, but I think it will be a 6mm or 55 So I'll just drill that hole through. Yeah, definitely six mil. So here's the RPSMA and it comes with a nut and a washer. Once I've tightened this up, I am going to actually 
after I'm going to get mix some epoxy up and epoxy this on the back here so it's got no chance of moving hopefully you could use some hot glue but it probably won't be as strong we'll just stop this from twisting so now it's just a matter of trimming the end off here this is quite a small um, piece of wire so it can be reasonably tricky sometimes <coughs> need to be uh, quite good at need to be careful when you do that because if not you'll catch the uh, small piece inside as well I don't know if you can see that but We've got this outer shield here, then we've got an insulator, and then inside there is the antenna. And you need to make sure that you're not shorting those together, because if not, it's not going to work, and you'll probably blow your um, transmitter. So just make sure there's no stray piece of wire which you can short it out <clears throat> another thing you want to try to make this as neat as possible without too much um, without too much of the antenna showing Right, so now I'm just going to desolder the um, antenna. I'm just going to add a bit of um, fresh uh, leaded solder on here because this is probably lead free solder. And uh, leaded solder melts a lot nicer, so it's worth just uh, adding a bit of fresh solder to it. And now all I'm going to do is just uh, tin the wires. So they're ready to solder. Now it's just a matter of soldering the wire on there. Okay, so there we go. That's soldered. And yep, that's it really. Uh, one thing you might want to do do is just add a bit of hot glue over the top here just to add a little bit of um, strain relief just in case you um, pull the wire or whatever I think it's a lot easier putting the uh, antenna on the back here rather than messing around chopping that off then trying to stick that inside there with glue or whatever so I'm just going to do it that way and just there is plenty of space inside there to do that at the top there. There we go. It still sits up on the back of the antenna. And that means now I'll have a, when I get my um, screen um, holder, my FPV monitor, I'm just going to screw it on the sides here and the antenna will be out the back a bit further so hopefully I shouldn't get any interference make sure always put the antenna on 
before you turn the transmitter on because if not you'll fry the transmitter. So just to blank this bit off up the top here because I took the um, old antenna bit out use a piece of this foam cord um, board just cut a small round circle out and just fitted it in the top here just to blank it off looks a lot better. Like I said I'll put a uh, link in the description to the parts just in case you're interested in doing it yourself. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.